welcome back to another sweetest vlog today it's like a sit down vlog type of deal i came up with seven habits that only girly girls will relate to now obviously this is this is not that serious this is a, a fun video i just came up with seven habits that i do these are not habits that you have to do to be a girly girl. You define how you are a girly girl. There's no right or wrong way to be. It's all about self-expression, owning who you are, being what you want to be, putting out good energy into the world. That's all that it is. It's just a fun, happy, lighthearted thing. So don't feel like you need to go out and buy anything or change the way you do things or anything, okay? This is just for funsies. All right, the first habit is that us girly girls, you already know we love to pamper ourselves. There's no such thing as a self-care day. We live a self-care life, okay? You know what I'm saying? We take our time, we pamper ourselves, we take baths, we do our skincare, we do our makeup, we do our hair, all like very like slowly listening to good music or a podcast. You already know what I'm talking about. make everything pretty details matter to us we love to make everything pretty from our outfit to our hair to our makeup to our home to our car to our nails to our food everything everything needs to be pretty and aesthetically pleasing and matching to me is personal development and I know this is not necessarily something that's considered girly but I really fully believe to embrace your full self and wanting to be whoever you want to be you need to work on yourself you need to work on your mind and body and I do that by setting up certain rituals throughout the day law of attraction manifestations morning routine night routine consuming certain content being around certain people is really what shapes who you are if you are living a life right now and it's not what you want it to be it's because every decision that you've made up to this point manifested into your reality so whether you hate your life or you hate your job you've manifested that as like tough love here but that's just how it is it's all about what you put into the universe it's about what you believe in it's about what you put your hard work into law of attraction is real manifestation is real all that it is is putting out good energy and good energy comes back to you. I don't mean to be like a douchebag or anything. I just hope this is inspiring. But I have always believed in my core that I always wanted a different life. I've never kind of like, I've always felt kind of like an outsider. I've always felt like kind of that weird girl. I just like always envisioned a different life for myself. I knew I didn't want to put myself in a box. I knew I didn't want to check off things like go to school, get married, have kids, work a nine to five, retire at 60. Like that's just not what I see for myself. I see myself having 
an abundance of money, abundance of time freedom, a beautiful marriage, a beautiful house, a cat, not having a boss, working for myself, and that's my reality right now because I really believed in it and I did the work to get there. Listen to podcasts, read books. You are the five people you hang out around and that is, I don't even hang out with like five people on a daily basis. The five people you hang out around is also considered the content you consume. So if you are scrolling on Instagram and looking at random people throughout the day, you're hanging out with those people. You're you're absorbing, absorbing their energy. I... I don't even like scroll through Instagram anymore. I don't look through stories. I have like a certain like five to 10 people that I will seek out every day to look at their content. Those are the people that I want to be in my circle. Those are the people that that's the energy I want. Personal development is real. Work on yourself, create those rituals. If you want a lesson on like manifestation or like what I do, let me know. I can make a whole video on that. My next habit is a little less serious, but girly curls, love to play dress up we love love shack fancy we love shabby chic we love pink we love frills we love ruffles we just we just love it all we love it all at least i do you don't have to but i do okay the lighting in here is horrible that's why i haven't been filming in here lately i need to get another light situation but i want to show you my outfit because we're about to play dress up and i want to show you what i love to wear to make me feel so girly and frilly and all that good stuff so i got this top from shop cider they have really inexpensive things and they're like a little bit better quality than Shein, so you should check that out i have this bralette that i always wear from target and then my fave ever skirt from love shack fancy i wear this with everything she's so cute and so frilly and so girly <music> I don't think I ever showed this dress on my vlog, but this is a Love Shack fancy dress that I got off of eBay. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is made a few years ago because I have never seen this dress. So it's probably like 2019, I'm gonna guess, but it's so princessy. I'm going to a tea party with Karaya in a few weeks and I might wear this. I think she looks like a little princess dress. I wore this dress in Puerto Rico for Valentine's Day, but I don't feel like she got enough recognition as she deserves because she is a moment. The detailing is so cute. We have like bows and fruit, cherries, strawberries. So cute. It's this perfect spring summer dress. But seriously, don't ever feel like you need to buy Love Shack Fancy or expensive things to be girly. I thrift all the time, I antique all the time, I buy off Shein all the time, Amazon. You don't have to be, be spending a lot of money out here to be girly, okay? habit of a girly girl is that we love going to TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Home Goods. And we go there not because we're really looking for anything. We go there for fun because they have the best prices on all the good things like perfume and candles and their clothing has been on point. They have so many girly things at Marshalls these days. You can't deny you don't love a good Marshalls run. to be obsessed with bows. I know I put bows on everything. I love bows. They're so cute and so dainty and so feminine. Last but not least, 
least girly girls love to smell good all the time i know i typically pick very sweet smelling smells like cake or cookies vanilla cotton candy some of my favorites are flower bomb lancome perfumes pink sugar a boom boom cream and that's kind of like those are like my go-to's oh ariana grande has really good perfumes too let me know what your girly scent is. Let me know what am I missing out on. And that concludes today's video. All of the girly girl things. What, what am I missing? What would you add to the list? What are your favorite girly girl habits? I really would love to know. But anyway, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in a few days.